ten years ago, as I led a rebellion, an insurgency from UKIP, I was considered by the London upper middle classes to be completely and utterly beyond the pale. I was a complete and utter peasant, not somebody you would ever invite round to a plight dinner party in Notting Hill. And I was demonised for it, for having a view that was different to the establishment. Which is why I'm so enjoying seeing what's being done to Lee Anderson. He, of course, is the former Labour councillor. He's a Conservative member for Ashfield. He's now a deputy chairman of the Conservative Party. And, boy, is he getting some stick. Lee, you're taking great pressure off the rest of us. Well, thanks for your support, <laughs> Nigel. I mean, I feel a lot better now. Well, let's be honest. You're working class, you're yeah. northern, you're a peasant. You don't even go to the opera, do you? Well, the last time I went to the theatre was to see the Chuckle Brothers. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my uh, trip to the... I, th I think the editor of the Times wouldn't approve well, at all. Well, it wouldn't. I mean, I mean, I've followed your career, obviously, over the past yeah. decades. And I see the abuse that you get, uh, and you think, wow, he's got some broad shoulders. <laughs> How does he do it? And then, you know, fast forward a few years, I'm taking similar sort of abuse. And the last two or three weeks have been absolutely just torrid, torrid. Uh, and like you say, I've got broad shoulders, Nigel. It's yep. not me so much it affects, it's my mum, my dad, my family, even my friends are getting in touch with me and say, are you OK? We've seen what they've been writing about you. It's a lot of lies. They're going into my village, they're going into my towns, yep. they're going into my pubs asking questions. The old lads I used to work with down the pit, they're contacting them via Facebook and asking them, you know, questions about Any me. bad story about them? Yeah, what do you know about him? Yeah. Uh, and you can imagine my pit mates, the sort of uh, response they get from them. And uh, it's, it's, it's normally a two word response. <laughs> One's got a couple of Fs in. Uh, at the end there. So, yeah, it's just... It's been relentless, mate. Relentless. Yeah, the cartoons. There's a cartoon we're going to show those watching on telly. <laughs> You're going to for copyright on that, isn't it? I've already been threatened by The Guardian. We don't care. That. Um, we don't care. And, of course, you've talked about the death penalty. And yeah. you talked about things like that. And I, listen, I was similarly lampooned with cartoons. I wonder, is it you or is this just what public life is like? Do you, think you're ha do you think they're having an exceptional go at you? Yeah, they are, because, as you know, Nigel, it's no secret, I was a Labour councillor, worked yep. for a Labour MP, Glory, who works for you, uh, at the studio. Uh, uh, so I'm sort of political public enemy number one for the Labour Party. They want my scalp. They're not having it. I will fight back. They're not going to... What are they scared of? They're scared because my my backstory. You know, I'm, I've been that working class person from the Midlands, from the North, and and you, you go over to that place there, and you struggle to find a Labour a politician, a Labour MP that's actually had a real job in the real world. That's what they're scared of. Mm. They they want to be working class heroes, and you know, I'm struggling to find one that's actually held down a proper job, and, and you know, and mixed with all thick Northerners.